It's a little foggy out here in the woods. But I decided to start doing stuff this morning. I added two more solar panels. And I ran out of Y connectors. But I did have this bus bar right here. So I got the two sets of panels hooked up to the bus bar. And then there's another set of wires running to my charge controller. Which is dangling precariously right there. But hopefully I'll be uh, making a little bit more power during the day. Uh, which will be nice. Well, I got my inverter in there and the batteries. If you've never had an opportunity to pick up one of those uh, Magnum uh, sine wave inverters, uh, you really are missing out on a real treat, I tell you what. thing weighs about 100 pounds, and it's like all at one end. So you try to pick it up, but one side's light and the other side's heavy. It's, it's just all kinds of fun. Right, midday update. Pretty much me a shovel and a wheelbarrow again. You see, kind of like right here, all the way down to this corner is what I've dug out, and I'm putting it over here where I need building a driveway. And every once in a while, you find something that's just a little bigger than you can handle. That's a rock. I really can't say enough about this winter refrigerator. I got it set. Well, I got it set at 30 degrees. It's 29 now. Just finished a cooling cycle. But it doesn't really run that much but it's nice because I got it ice cold in there so I actually have bags of ice in here they haven't dripped a drop because it's you know below freezing uh, but it's not so cold I'm freezing my beverages so when I get ready to go home I'll have nice cold ice to pack in my cooler for my ride home I'm trying to dig this rock out it's taken forever the I gotta remove all that earth above it to get behind it and I just keep feeling wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow, which is okay because it's filling the need of what I was trying to do in the first place, which was bringing that in with dirt so I can turn that into a driveway. So I'm making some progress. It's, you know, not going as quick as I would hope, but you know what you're going to do. So I decided to do a test run and I took the truck down the uh, half finished driveway. As you can see, my back left tire. Just about biffed it right here. I, I suspect I was hanging air because I got right over here. And then she started sliding hard to the left. I think the fact that that tire was in the air and I think the front tire hit that stump, which I cut down. I got to cut it down a little bit more. It's, the angle is hard. My nose just stuffed up. I had a huge allergy reaction. So if I sound weirder than usual, that's the deal. But then I came down here and... Uh, straightened out a little bit but you can see I got some pretty hard ruts coming through here yeah it's gonna feel but I totally chickened out I was, if I tipped it I was gonna be so pissed but anyhow uh, yeah made it out so uh, pretty close to being uh, done at least I know where I need to fill in more and uh, I got to get that spot back up there finished up like this is okay I gotta do something with that stuff I think that was made an awkward moment but yeah I got to fill in this area right there that's the bad spot so I gotta get that ticket care of well, it's three o'clock my arms are so tired I can't even lift them up anymore batteries are topped off that's nice it's a beautiful sunny day there's pretty much only one thing left for me to do It's too bad I'm filthy. It'd be nice to not stink also.